Hi, we are at the Combine Naval Event 2024 in Farnborough, UK. And I am pleased to now meet with Renaud Hock, the program manager for the RMCM program, which calls for the replacement of the mine warfare capability in both Belgium and the Netherlands. Commander Hock, good morning. Good morning. Thank you to take the time to answer a few of my uh, questions here uh, in the UK. So uh, my first question is, uh, what is the current status of the RMCM program? Thank you. So as just briefed yesterday at the CNE event, um, the state is actually, uh, we are in a critical time for the program. We are testing, beginning of the test uh, for both the mothership and the drones uh, in the program and then the integration test uh, later uh, beginning next year. So currently we are building uh, six ship. The first ship, the Ostend, will be uh, will have this first sea ongoing beginning of June in the uh, coming days, uh, and the sixth ship, for example, uh, will have its uh, keel laying uh, in June as well. Uh, we'll have uh, shortly uh, the mise à l'eau of the Tournay in July. So all the ships are being built. Uh, the six other ship will come afterwards uh, and will be uh, built for the hell part in Romania and then integrated in France. On the side of the toolbox uh, we are currently also uh, building the tools and already testing some of them uh, that is the planning for this year as well and then the integration of the toolbox and uh, the, the ships uh, beginning uh, next year so as mentioned yesterday uh, we had a, so, uh, a short delay on the program uh, decalage uh, as we as we said of a few months uh, so eight months of the first ship that will be delivered with its tool uh, next year in 2025 medio 2025 2025 and the first Dutch ship at the end of uh, 25 with its tools as well. The idea is for its the new capacity uh, that we will have together with the Netherlands to be IOC, initial operational capability, uh, one year later after the delivery for integration in the uh, in the Navy for tests and uh, for operationalization of, of the tools. Uh, that will be uh, medio 2026 for the first operation of the Ostend. Uh, Commander Rock, uh, in my opinion, the Belgian Navy and the Royal Netherlands Navy are uh, kind of like pioneers in the field because uh, it's one of the very first uh, few navies uh, to adopt the concept of mothership to carry UXVs, so UUVs, USVs or UAVs. Uh, how challenging is that to, to, to be among the first? It's a challenge for both the industry and for, for the Navy. It's a new way of working. We, we say it's a paradigm shift, a new paradigm shift that we have to, to embrace. Uh, the crew should be trained and should, we should build trust between the crew, the commanding officer and the tools. And uh, really to, uh, to operationalize such tool at large distance of the ship, with a, a ship being outside of the mine threat and all the tools uh, demining uh, the, the threat in the mine, uh, mine threat area, it's a challenge. Uh, a technical challenge but also an operational challenge so we are really happy uh, to to have this new uh, concept of operation and to develop that with industry with a uh, top industry and um, we are eager to to begin uh, next year with the operationalization of such a new capacity uh, the French uh, Navy uh, will be uh, using uh, the same design uh, that uh, you selected. Uh, do you welcome that uh, cooperation? Of course, we welcome all type of cooperation. Uh, the French uh, signed an MOU last year. Uh, medio last year, one year ago almost, um, and we are currently still in discussion with the technical detail uh, of the French solution uh, in how specifically they will enter the program. So they will enter the program and the details is still under discussion, but we embrace that, uh, that new challenge to have new partner and uh, we, are, we are eager to, uh, to have other uh, nations uh, coming into uh, our program. Uh, last but not least, uh, so the, the use and the deployment of uh, unmanned system from the mothership is uh, is just the beginning. You may add uh, new capabilities, upcoming capabilities for those uh, vessels. Uh, yesterday you mentioned uh, maybe uh, mine laying capabilities, so offensive mine warfare. 
So, of course, um, the platform and the tools, this capacity is designed for naval mine warfare. The, within the program, uh, it's only specified defensive uh, mine warfare, but in the future, there is a possibility to, to do mining as well. Uh, so, there is some uh, NATO discussion ongoing, and Belgium uh, has already mentioned the intention on long term to do mining. So, there is a strong possibility for those ships to be used uh, later on and to integrate a mining capacity. We can also think on other type of uh, capacity. If we are using drones, you can use also drones, maybe different type of drones for other type of warfare. That can be critical uh, infrastructure, a hot topic right now, with the same tools or other tools, but that can also be ASW, for example, with different type of tools. So working with drones, you can integrate very easily other type of warfare. So it's very an, a challenge, a very interesting uh, topic for us. All right, Commander Hawk, thank you very much. Thank you.